Around the world, data are being generated, processed, and analyzed at a rate faster than ever before. Businesses are using big data to find credit card frauds, predict our shopping habits, understand our movie preferences. However, it is becoming increasingly challenging to extract useful information from all this data. Astronomy has gone from being a data-starved to a data-rich science. Next-generation telescopes will generate torrents of data. For example, the Square Kilometre Array will produce enough raw data to fill up 15 million iPods every day. It will be too much for humans to sift through, and this is where machine learning comes in. Hi, I'm Kizzy Lowe, an astrophysics PhD student with Castro and the University of Sydney. My colleagues and I are working on techniques to automatically classify objects in the sky and to find interesting rare objects. We have applied an algorithm called Random Forest to a catalogue of X-ray emitting objects. The algorithm works by training a classification model using a set of objects that we already know the class of. A random forest model is made up of an ensemble of decision trees. To build a decision tree, we randomly pick some objects from the training sets. Then, the algorithm selects the best feature for splitting the tree into branches, until all objects in a branch belong to the same class. To build a forest of trees, just repeat this many times. Using this random forest, we classify the X-ray objects in the catalog with no existing classification. We found that our algorithm performed really well in classifying hundreds of X-ray sources, and the results matched the manual analysis in most cases. We can also use this technique to find novel objects. The one in a million needle in a haystack, or in our case, may be a new type of star that we didn't know about before in the universe. One of the best things about astronomy is the possibility of discovering something new. Using this technique, we can do this automatically. I think machine learning will change the way we do astronomy. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these ideas implemented in the processing pipelines of the next generation of telescopes.